A Kansas senator caught speeding during session is now in the running for the state's governor. And that's where we start tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us for 27 News at 6. I'm Mackenzie Davis. Independent candidate Dennis Pyle tried using legislative immunity during his run in with the law. Our Capitol Bureau obtained body camera footage from the encounter. Tonight, 27 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung joins us live. So, Rebecca, you spoke with the senator. Can you tell us what he's saying about the incident? Well, Mackenzie, this incident happened back in April. Now Pyle is running for Kansas governor. In the video, it appears the senator tried to use his position as leverage, but tonight he says he's not above the law. Body cam footage shows independent candidate for Kansas governor Dennis Pyle pulled over for speeding in Brown County in April. The senator bringing up the legislative immunity clause in the state constitution. In the video, he says it affords lawmakers the right not to be impeded. It says that we're not to be impeded in traveling to or from session. Oh. Uh, anyway, I understand you're doing your job. Yeah. But I would, I would advise reading the Constitution. Pyle was caught going over the speed limit on his way home after a late night at the Capitol during session. According to the state's Constitution, Kansas lawmakers are not to be subject to the service of any civil process during the session or in going to or returning from the place of meeting. In the end, Pyle got a verbal warning. Now in a phone call with Kansas Capitol Bureau, he says there's no excuse for his actions. I'm not above the law by any means. And uh, I have, like I said, I've paid the tickets when I get them, and that officer was doing his job. Now, the senator is not the first lawmaker to use the legislative immunity clause when it comes to run-ins with the cops. Last year, there was also legislation introduced to change this part of the state's constitution so that lawmakers don't abuse that power. But it died in committee. For now, reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chan. All right, Rebecca, thank you for that update.